Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be doing a full head of nano hair extensions, and I'm gonna be answering all of your questions that you might have. Nano hair extensions are really unique. They are the smaller sister of an eye tip hair extension. So you have your eye tip hair extensions that are attached to the hair with a copper flare bead typically. With your nanos, they are attached with these tiny, tiny nano rings. And I'm actually gonna be using silicone lined beads for them. The type of client that these are really ideal for are gonna be your finer haired clients. You can wear them if you have medium to thick density, but personally I find they work really well for my fine haired clients. If I have someone with medium or thicker hair, I might opt for more of that full size standard eye tip hair extensions. But nanos are great because they're almost like a keratin extension. They're really, really small and discreet. The point of attachment is tiny, except you do have that option of reusing the nano hair. With your keratin, we can't reuse it. With the nanos, we can. How long do nano hair extensions last? I would say anywhere between six to nine months typically. You can reuse them, but just remember that tip is really delicate. So there are cases where it might break, it might snap off. So I do find that six to nine months is a good mark. With your nano extensions, we reinstall them every time. Usually at the eight week mark, we'll remove them and reinstall them. Because the bead is so small and delicate, it is harder to do a move up on these extensions.
Nano hair extensions are good for your hair. As long as you density match, you wanna make sure that the hair that you're picking up to support that extension is the same weight as the extension. For example, if my Nano strand is one gram, I wanna make sure that I'm picking up one gram of hair. You can wash your hair with nano extensions. They are just like any other permanent hair extension method. You can dry the hair, you can style it. They are really versatile and they do have 360 degree movement. So they're great for clients that wanna wear their hair up and in all sorts of different styles without that extension being noticeable. Nano hair extensions might fall out because maybe you haven't clamped hard enough down on that bead or you haven't picked up enough hair to support the extension and also maybe you have too much room where the bead is and the natural hair is in the extension. Any sort of room that's left um, that leaves them room for shampoo, conditioner, all sorts of things to get into that ring and that's why it might slide out. So I always make sure that I have enough hair in there um, and that I clamp down really, really nice and tight. I do find that the silicone helps as well. That really gives a nice firm grip and cushions the natural hair. <laughs> It's really important that for me, when I install them, I make sure that I have enough room to flip the hair up and down. If that nano is too tight to the scalp, it's gonna be really uncomfortable for the client and it's gonna pull on that natural hair and cause a lot of tension, maybe some redness, the scalp will be sore. So I always make sure that when I install them, I have enough wiggle room to flip the hair up and down. That way, when she goes home and she wears her hair in ponies, it's not gonna be uncomfortable. With nano hair extensions, they are really robust, but you have to be mindful when you wash the hair. You don't wanna get any sort of oils or conditioners at the point of attachment. Also, when you're going in with your hot tools, you wanna to make sure that as they grow out, you're not putting your hot tool on that bead. It's not necessarily gonna cause damage to the hair or the extension. It's more so your hot tool. You have to remember those beads are metal, so you don't want it rubbing up against the plate of your flat iron or your curling iron. Let's make it happen, let's go all night. 
nanos are great for pretty much anyone if you do have extra extra fine hair i still think maybe more of that keratin that k-tip hair extension would be better only because i'm able to go in and really customize the size of that keratin extension with the nanos you get what you get right i can't cut them so i do think if you've got extra fine hair keratin is better but anywhere medium thick fine hair is going to be great for a nano but me personally i do find that i tend to go to them for my finer or medium density clients all depends on what length you're getting and also how many grams you're getting just remember as a rule of thumb the more grams you get and the more length you get the more expensive it's going to be Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe video and drop any questions that you might have in the comment section down below.